This is my waste vegetable oil collection system. Uh, the guy who I get my oil from gets this cottonseed oil in 20 litre drums. He uses two or three of those a week and empties it into a 205 litre oil drum. I go around and collect it with a uh, 2 litre Bruta container. It's quite easy, it doesn't make much mess. And I use a funnel without a filter in it. It just goes straight down into one of these raw oil containers I've got here. I've marked them raw oil so I know what's what. The uh, funnel just sits directly in the top. It sits there quite nicely. It doesn't overbalance. These also have a tap attachment at the bottom. I've got two of them that I collect raw oil in. There's still some chippy bits sitting around there. But um, from there I sit it up on top of a 205 litre oil drum. I've got a uh, I've got it sitting on a brick, a little bit of a wire stuck in there, so it, because uh, I'm just putting a square brick on a round surface, keeps the balance a little bit better. At the back of it, I've got a bit of coat hanger wire that sits down in one of the holes in the brick and just holds the funnel in the correct position. I turn the tap on and drain it down through another funnel here that has an actual strainer in it. I purchased these from Super Cheap Auto, really cheap, They're about three or four dollars each. And uh, you can see all the chippy bits that get left behind. I empty out the funnel. Uh, every drum that I do, generally I empty out the funnel. It's a 25 litre drum, so there's 50 litres goes through there. From there, it sits in these 20, 205 litre drums, settles out a little bit of the muck. I've got uh, about oh, a bit over an inch of space at the bottom that it can settle in. Turn the tap on and these are sock filters. I've got a 200 micron sock filter there that I've got in some 100mm pipe. That's a bit of off-cut that they made for me at the plumbing supply place that goes down into a fitting in a funnel at the bottom. It's all uh, glued together quite nicely. They did it for me there. It cost me all of $10 or something goes into a garden watering can container. I keep the end on it to keep some of the dust out. I take the uh, end off it and it gets about half three quarters full. I'm in a glass house so it gets rather warm in here. Filters through. On a cold day it's uh, gelled up a little bit and you can see it sitting there. I'll take half the day to drain through. But the slower the better. It means I'm getting everything out. I then go do the same thing. I pour from the garden container, garden watering can, into the top of this one. It has a strainer in it, there's no need because it's 200 micron filtered. It'll go straight through that it's just to keep some insects and crap out that fly around here in the glass house. I've marked that 200 micron. So that's all my 200 micron oil stored in there. Then I've got some this is a 30 litre storage, square storage drum. It just so happens that the uh, larger filters, this is a 5 micron filter I've got in here, they fit in and sit perfectly in the top of those canisters, those containers. It's just a matter of picking that up and putting it underneath here with the wide aperture at the top, the wide fitting. I don't spill anything. That collects uh, all the grease and yuckies comes out relatively clean there. Then I have the same system with a slightly smaller 25 litre drum. This one has a one micron filter bag in it and uh, not a hell of a lot gets left behind in that because the five micron takes most of it out. And uh, I can place that one, it's quite easy and light. 25 litres will sit underneath that one. You can just gravity feed once I turn the tap on into the one micron. And from there, I got a 20 litre jerry can diesel. I can just place him on the bricks here. Place it directly underneath the tap. Turn it on. I go down to the service station and I fill that up with uh, 10 litres. It's a 20 litre container, but I fill it with 10 litres of diesel. 
and then I fill it almost to the brim with one micron filtered oil and that gives me a 50-50 mix that I use through summer. I can wean that down to a 20-80 mix during winter although I've just purchased from VE Car uh, a German site that has uh, inline heaters and a couple of different attachments. I bought the whole kit for under 250 Australian and uh, that'll heat pre-filter on my car and also uh, then afterwards it's got another pump uh, between filter and pump is a, uh, a water heated device as well and that heats my oil up to temperature quite nicely and that's how I can easily without too much mess and fuss filter out all this waste vegetable oil each scoop that I'm taking is a two litre container diesel is about $1.40, $1.50 a litre here so each one's about $2, $2.20, $2.30 every scoop I take it's saving me quite a substantial amount of money and uh, it's all free to pick up and it's only around the corner, it's not much to actually collect it I tried to work out the simplest gravity feed system I could work out and the least mess and fuss that I could possibly do hope you enjoyed my video